Welcome to Wrenchway Weekly, where we talk about the industry's hot topics, highlight the voice of technicians, and educate shops and dealerships to help improve the industry. If you haven't had a chance yet, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and comment on the videos to let us know what you think of Wrenchway Weekly or if there's a specific topic that you'd like us to cover. The topic for this week is do you feel like your shop is honest when quoting repairs? And obviously this is kind of a controversial topic, one that I think gets people talking uh, and, and really might uncover some uncomfortable conversations that, that we wanna talk about. The feedback that we got on this question honestly kind of brought some reassurance to me. Uh, it, so the feedback for this question, do you feel like your shop is honest when quoting repairs uh, was 84, almost 85% said yes, 15% said no. That's really good. I, you know, I think that that 15% can be a variety of different things. We heard some different things through the comments, but something that I think really hits home with me is that the overwhelming majority trust their shops and they trust that you're putting out honest work when when you when you're quoting repairs and and sometimes I think it's funny when you go into these these types of conversations it opens up the the door to conversations about how you're doing inspections how you're doing fluid flushes and changes and and really knowing that you're doing it the right way is so vitally important and and I think, you know, some of the feedback, some of the comments that we had, uh, and, and some not so great, right? Honesty is a relative term in this business was a quote from our Wrenchway Insiders. That's one where you, you probably don't feel all that warm and fuzzy about that one, right? Uh, another quote that we had was quoting the work uh, a vehicle needs versus quoting the work that will make a shop money. And so... I think that's where a lot of the disconnect is when it comes to maybe that 15% is understanding why you're going through and doing a, an MPI or uh, really understanding why it's important for you to do that inspection. And, and really, I, I know in any industry, there's going to be bad people out there, right? And I'm sure there are still shops that have that negative connotation or that, that, that wrong reason why they're doing something. Although for the majority of the shops that we work with, I really don't see it. I, I don't see the negative uh, side of it as much. And maybe it's not that I'm, I'm not in the day to days as much as I used to be, but I feel pretty comfortable with most shops that we're recruiting for, or if they're on our Wrenchway platform, especially if they're on our Wrenchway platform, because they, they really are being transparent and they have to be transparent, transparent in order to be on that. So, it gives me some level of confidence that 85% said yes. And that, that includes the folks that might not feel comfortable doing an, a multi-point inspection or feel like we're doing a multi-point inspection for the wrong reasons. Now, I will say I have worked in shops that aren't as trustworthy, right? And it was one, spot, one shop specifically while I was going to school. It was down by Chicago. I'll leave the name of the shop out of it. But it was really, really sketchy. And I, I've referred to this in some of the other content that we've put out there. But I think from a technician standpoint, I understood the difference between working at a good shop and working at a not good shop. And when I say good shop, honest shop, uh, ethical shop. And there's a definitive difference between the two. And to me, there's a definitive difference between the quality of people that are, are working in those shops, right? And so if you want to attract good quality people and people that have really good values and, and want to do, th do business the right way, you have to be doing business the right way as a shop owner, as a shop manager. And I think that's so vitally important. We actually have a uh, YouTube link that we'll put in the comments below from our friend, uh, the humble mechanic. And he, and he talks about how bad businesses don't deserve good employees and specifically bad shops don't deserve good technicians or good mechanics. It's a great video. I would encourage you to spend the seven plus minutes to watch it because I think Charles hits it on the head. He does such a good job explaining that side as he always does. Uh, but I truly believe that too. If, if you're questionable ethically, 
you're going to have one heck of a hard time finding good people. And I think the opposite is true in terms of you're going to attract some people that maybe you don't want. So uh, it comes down to values, making sure that you're you're putting your best foot forward, that you're doing the right things and uh, doing it to the best of your ability. Sometimes things aren't going to go right. Totally understand that. But make sure you're doing the, the, the things for the right reasons and, and not overcharging customers, but helping protect their families and, and making sure that they're, you know, they're taken care of, they're, they're safe in their truck or piece of equipment, whatever it might be. Uh, there's some other perspective, I guess, that we've got with this. And, and one comment that I thought was interesting was when shop owners, managers aren't honest with customers, what impression does that leave on the employee? that they aren't being honest with their employees as well. And I couldn't agree more, right? And I always use the the kind of the example of if you're in a shop and the service manager is talking really, really negatively about other customers, it kind of makes you feel that way that they're talking about other customers, other employees, that they might be kind of a gossip and, and really talking negatively about other people. And that doesn't give you the warm and fuzzies, right? That's not the feeling of a good shop. And that's something that I think a manager, especially when a tech goes into an office or if uh, it's a newer manager, making sure that you take that into the office that, you know what, we do this a certain way. We do it good because we want good, honest people working here. We want good, honest customers. And I think uh, you, you are who you attract, right? And I think that's really, really uh, a, a, an interesting piece. Another industry perspective stat that we pulled was studies found that workers at high trust companies report 74% less stress. So a, little, a lot less stressful working at places that are honest. Obviously, you're probably not trying to hide lies at that point and, and uh, doing business the right way. They exhibit 50% higher productivity. Uh, I think we all like that and experience about 40% less burnout all really, really positive things that stem from just being a good, honest business and, and something that I think you should all take to heart. And I, you know, I, I think it's really, really easy to say you're a good business and that you do it for the right reasons, but your actions definitely speak louder than words. So make sure you're, you're doing that every day, day in, day out, do the right thing for the right reasons. And uh, I think you'll have better, happier, more engaged employees as a result. Uh, as you all know, uh, we give away a prize for uh, the feedback that we receive through the Wrenchway Insiders app. We also get feedback from LinkedIn. Unfortunately, our LinkedIn folks aren't uh, able to win the prize, but uh, those of you that responded through the Wrenchway Insiders mobile app had a shot at this prize. Last week's giveaway was a $100 Amazon gift card, and the winner was Brent Vinderslev with a high score of 31. Uh, congratulations to you, Brent. I, I hope you get to uh, enjoy that $100 Amazon gift card as kind of a post-Christmas gift, if you will. Along with that gift card, Brent got a shot at the ever-increasing Queen of Hearts game, which is now up to $1,600 uh, because Jeff didn't turn over the Queen of Hearts. So every week somebody flips over a card your chances are getting closer and closer to winning that pot. And, and there's less cards to choose from, which means your odds go up. So um, keep giving us feedback. Keep helping us out with this feedback. It really, really does help. And we're happy to reward you for, for giving that feedback that we can turn into content and truly help the industry. We've gotten so much good feedback from uh, the, the, both the insiders and the industry side, which I think is really, really important. We're trying to maybe fill the gaps of communication that we, we, we really see a disconnect with. So, uh, of course, we, we post new challenges every week. So make sure you go complete those challenges, earn those points, play the higher or lower game for a chance at that $100 gift card and the, uh, the Queen of Hearts pot, which, like I said, it's up to $1,600 now. That's a lot of money. That's that's a really, really good way to start out 2021 uh, is putting that in your bank account. So again, the Wrenchway Insiders app is invite only. If you would like to receive an invite, you can fill out the form on the Wrenchway website. We'll include a link in the comments below, or you can email us at info at The topic for next week is 
What 2021 trend do you think will dis most disrupt the industry in 2021? Uh, we're giving a few different options and, and some of them I think uh, it'll be interesting just to get your response on how, how close you think we are to some of these trends. Uh, the first being mobile service, the second being autonomous vehicles, the third being electric vehicles, and then the fourth being other, because we really want to hear what trends you feel like are going to be uh, really, really popular in 2021. Uh, get the feedback from the people with boots on the ground. I think that would be amazing. So again, please go to the Wrenchway Insiders app, find the poll titled Wrenchway Weekly Topic of the Week, and uh, answer the challenges, help give us feedback so we can really, really help educate all of the industry. Once again, if you like what we're doing, please go out to uh, the Wrenchway page on YouTube, like, subscribe to us, like the videos, and, uh, and really help us understand what you want to see more of. It's been really, really great to get the feedback from our insiders, and, and uh, I can't thank you enough. Uh, Happy New Year to all of you. I hope you all have a safe and prosperous 2021. Take care.